Understanding and Navigating Systemic Risk in Investment Investors encounter several types of risks, one of which is systemic risk, an especially potent risk that can cause dramatic market-wide losses. Let's dive into understanding this concept and consider some historical examples. What is systemic risk? Systemic risk can be defined as the risk of collapse of an entire financial system or entire market, as opposed to risk associated with any one individual entity, group, or component of a system, which can be protected against using traditional risk management methods. In other words, it's the risk of a domino effect or the failure of a single entity or cluster of entities can cause a cascading failure, which could potentially bankrupt or bring down the entire system. Systemic risks are generally triggered by an event that is significant enough to threaten the stability of the financial system and hence, the broader economy. These events can be financial, such as the collapse of a major bank or financial institution, or non-financial, such as a pandemic. The impact of systemic risk is widespread, typically affecting a large number of financial institutions or markets within a short time span. Because systemic risks can lead to market failures, they are typically managed and mitigated by government bodies and regulators rather than by individual organizations. Historical Examples of Systemic Risk The Global Financial Crisis of 2008 The 2008 financial crisis provides a stark example of systemic risk. It was triggered by the collapse of the subprime mortgage market in the US, which led to the failure of a number of important financial institutions globally. For instance, Lehman Brothers, one of the most prominent investment banks at the time, filed for bankruptcy, triggering widespread panic and accelerating the financial crisis. Banks and financial institutions around the world found themselves in a precarious situation as the interbank lending market froze due to uncertainty and fear, leading to a full-blown global recession. The European Debt Crisis Another example of systemic risk is the European sovereign debt crisis that started in 2009. When Greece was on the verge of default, there were serious concerns about the ripple effect it would have on other countries in the Eurozone, particularly Portugal, Italy, Ireland, and Spain. The crisis posed a threat to the European banking system and even raised questions about the future of the European Union itself. Managing Systemic Risk Due to its widespread impact, managing systemic risk is challenging. Typically, systemic risk is managed at the macro level by central banks and other regulatory bodies. Strategies for managing systemic risk include Regulation Financial institutions are subject to regulatory standards to ensure they maintain adequate capital levels and limit their risk-taking activities. For instance, the Basel III norms were designed to enhance the banking sector's ability to absorb shocks arising from financial and economic stress. Monitoring Central banks and financial regulators monitor the economy and financial markets to identify potential systemic risks. This can include tracking key risk indicators, conducting stress tests, and implementing early warning systems. Crisis Management in times of financial crisis, central banks often step in as lenders of last resort. During the 2008 financial crisis, the US Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, and other central banks worldwide lowered interest rates and provided emergency loans to financial institutions to stabilize the financial system. Understanding systemic risk is vital for investors as it can lead to significant losses that cannot be avoided by diversification. While it is challenging to predict the occurrence of systemic risk due to its complex nature, being aware of the economic and market conditions that could trigger such a risk is a crucial part of any investor's risk management strategy. By keeping abreast of economic trends and geopolitical issues, investors can better prepare themselves for potential market disruptions. Investors can also manage exposure to systemic risk by understanding their portfolio's sensitivity to market movements. The Capital Asset Pricing Model, CAPM, can be useful here, 
as it allows investors to calculate the expected return of an investment based on its systematic risk. Another strategy involves using financial instruments such as options and futures to hedge against systemic risk. These can provide downside protection during market downturns. For instance, buying put options on a stock index can help protect a portfolio against broad market declines. Investors might also consider investing in safe haven assets such as gold or government bonds that often perform well during times of financial stress. This strategy can help to insulate a portfolio against systemic risk, albeit at the expense of potential returns during times of economic stability and growth. Asset allocation is another crucial strategy to manage systemic risk. Investors should maintain a well-diversified portfolio, spreading their investments across various asset classes, equities, bonds, commodities, sectors, and geographies. Despite these strategies, it's essential to remember that systemic risk, by definition, cannot be fully eliminated through diversification or hedging. That's because it affects almost all parts of the economy. Thus, the goal of investors should not be to eliminate systemic risk, which is an impossible task, but rather to understand, anticipate, and mitigate it as much as possible. Investors also need to understand the role of financial innovation in systemic risk. While financial innovation can bring benefits, such as improved risk sharing and increased liquidity, it can also contribute to systemic risk if the innovations are poorly understood and improperly managed. Looking ahead, with the world becoming more interconnected, the potential for systemic risk may increase. Events in one part of the world can quickly ripple across borders, impacting global financial markets. At the same time, Emerging risks such as those related to climate change and cyber threats can pose systemic risks, underscoring the need for constant vigilance, proactive risk management, and robust regulatory frameworks. Systemic risk represents a significant challenge for investors. While it cannot be completely eliminated, its impacts can be mitigated through smart investment strategies, continuous monitoring of the financial landscape, and understanding the evolving nature of risk in an increasingly interconnected world.